El pintalabio que tengo puesto para este video es by Pat McGrath, The Matt Trans, and se llama Flesh Number no. 5. I don't know, I see it on the camera, it looks bright red-ish to me and it's not like that. And then my hair, I just put it up because it's naturally beautiful and curly. You know, it's funny, like Dominicans have this saying. They're always referring to hair as good hair or bad hair. Oh, she has good hair or she has bad hair. And since I was a kid, all I ever heard was that, I, oh, I have bad hair. My mom constantly says that. She even says it till this day. She's like, oh, it's because you have that bad hair. Like curly hair is a bad type of hair. Like I don't get that concept. And no wonder this world is so screwed up. All you see on television is white people with straight hair. And then at home, I have people telling me that my hair is considered bad. And I don't know where the fuck they got that shit from because it's curly. Bad hair is curly hair. It's fucking amazing. To be honest with you, good thing I have a good head on my shoulders because if I took that and ran with it, I would probably be a little bit more mental because I'm a little off, let's be honest. <laughs> but you know what? I don't really care what people have to say, what their, their traps and idiosyncrasies are anymore. I know better than to think that curly hair is a bad thing. But wow, this fucking video became something completely different. Hola. Oh, you actually see the lipstick here better. I feel like here in this lighting, it looks truer to color. Don't mind my freaking nails. What the fuck, Daisy? You can't even get rid of that shit. This Latina just got in the mail. Christian Dior, the 30 Mantegna bag. I know you don't fucking believe me, but I just got in the mail the 30 Montagna bag. I will write the name right here because I'm sure I'm butchering that name in forest green. There's only one problem. It's fucking fake. <laughs> it's fucking fake. <laughs> this bag was gifted to me by my cousin. But before you jump to conclusions, let's unbox the bag and really go through it and see if it's really fake and I don't know, should I keep this bag? I don't freaking know if I'm gonna keep this bag. It looks so close to the real Christian Dior bag. Oh my God, I'm trying to convince myself already. Daisy, focus! This is the box that it came in. Just by looking at the box, not that I am a Christian Dior connoisseur. Intuition is telling me just by looking at this box, it's fake. This video might be going downhill from the very start. I don't know, I look at this bag, the way it looks, it's all been out of proportion. G granted, my cousin did give it to me, but it looks all kinds of wrongs to me. And then it has something in, I don't know if that's Korean or Chinese, right there. <laughs> okay, next dead giveaway that it is completely counterfeit, even if I was holding on to some dream here is the receipt it's all chinese everything is in chinese it says hong kong it says merchant number hong kong made by china union pay card <laughs> the bag that it comes in and this looks so fake to me because it's so transparent and Kind of like just printed on it. This is another dead giveaway to me because I've had designer brand in my collection, but none of them look like this. And mind you, Dior is like top tier. I wouldn't expect Dior to give me a bag that looks like this, where the letters look so transparent and cheap, quite frankly. Are you ready for the piece de resistance? Why the fuck are you getting excited, Daisy? It's not real. I don't know, but I'm fucking excited. It's a bag. Look at my fake baby. <laughs> look at my fake baby. Doesn't she look good? <laughs> oh my God. This is my fake 30 Montagnu, Montagnu bag. As beautiful as this bag is, and then looking at it from this distance, nothing looks fake on it. But the devil's in the details. I'm looking online and I'm gonna try and follow some of these things and really look into it. The tag should have been rounded and not sharp corners. Tags on the more recent bags are stitched all the way around. The tag looks an authentic bag online, so let's inspect my bag. Okay, let's go ahead and verify that part. This is the tag inside. <laughs> And this is another dead giveaway. You can see in the picture, the stitching on the picture is all around the corners. 
and the corners on the authentic bag is nice and sharp as opposed to this right here where it's more rounded and you can see that the stitching here is only on the top part here which is according to that side a clear indication that it is fake <laughs> The color of the thread should be the exact same color as the leather. Let's check it out. You can see that the color of the stitching is exactly the same color as the bag. But where I find that it's actually a dead giveaway right here. If you focus, it's coming out and it's misplaced. You will never see that on one of their bags. And for comparison, let's actually look at the picture. So here I'm on the website looking at the authentic uh, 30 Montic new bag in mint green. And here we see that the stitching, everything is the same color as the bag. Here we have more of a clasp type of uh, stitching here, where it's a little bit thick. And so everything looks pretty straightforward here. It's impeccable stitching, nothing's popping out. Clear indicative signs. Getting wet because it's raining out here. Oh, what is this? Wow, look at this. This looks horrible right here. And I know for some people they might not be a big deal, but when you're spending $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 on a bag, it better be impeccable. I would be pissed off on something like this. This is completely off. So is my nail. Here, this looks really bad. Also, on the sides there, you see, these are all telltale signs. You see here, it looks nice and shiny not brassy right but now when we look at my bag right here to me is a dead giveaway you can see a clear difference between the hardware of what i'm seeing online compared to what i have in front of me this is coming across way more yellow it's almost like it was a spray painted type of yellow it doesn't look authentic and then just by feeling it doesn't feel hard and with substance it feels very light and airy and like if i put enough pressure it will break and if we go back online it looks more weighted to me it looks more hardcore more luxurious more substance it doesn't look flimsy like it would break in time the bag is super beautiful i'm not gonna lie the color is gorgeous i mean this dark forest green teal type of color is stunning I, if I didn't know any better, I would think it's just a beautiful bag. Would I pay top money for it? Absolutely not, because as just as a regular consumer, I don't buy Dior bags at all because they're super expensive. I would think going into the store, looking at this by the strap and the hardware that I see, it doesn't feel luxurious to me. This part does, it feels better to me. It feels substantial, strong in weight, and it seems to be really sturdy. Yes, the bag is gorgeous. Still thinking about if I should keep it, you guys let me know down below. If I didn't know any better, I would completely keep this bag. But right now, I'm very indecisive, so I don't know. But if you guys were me, what would you do? I think that we can officially say and cry together at the same time that my little baby is an absolute fake. What the fuck are you waiting for? It is time for you to subscribe to my channel. Y dale a la campana de notificación porque así me informa usted de mi nuevo video.